Great. Well, thank you so much for stopping by today, sure. Kathy. Um, we talked on the phone yesterday. Yeah. As yep. you know, Town of Brunswick has a senior tax assistance program. I had heard about it. Okay. Which is um, why I'm here. <laughs> delightful. <laughs> well, so part of it, let's go through the um, qualifications of the program. At its nuts and bolts, the town looks to match the property tax fairness credit that the state gives as a credit on the state tax return. Um, okay. So first and foremost, on the town side, um, the town has 10 year, you have to, the qualifications is you have to be a 10 year resident in the town of Brunswick. Do you have to have owned that house for the 10 years? So you have to be a resident. So you can okay. actually, it's a great question. You yeah. can go from um, being a, a renting mm -hmm. a location for a period of time, then to going into property ownership. Um, so this program actually does cover people that are both renters or property owners in the town of Brunswick. Okay, so that's anybody that's had a homestead for 10 years in yeah. Brunswick. Okay, qualifies. that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. Um, you do have to receive the, the uh, 2022 State of Maine property tax fairness credit. Like I said, that's you got yep. your copy of your tax yep. return right there. Yeah. So uh, we'll look at that and make sure that you did get that state tax credit. That's what the town looks to match for you. Okay. You have to be at least 68 years young as of November 1st of this year. Got that covered. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, if you're a property owner, you do have to get the homestead exemption. And if you're not sure if you have the homestead exemption or not, we can look in the computer system and make sure that that okay. exemption appears on your property tax bill to already help you lower that. Okay. Um, and then That's also, it's a rebate program. So if you um, are a property owner, you just need to make sure that you pay those real estate taxes when they're due. And then this program rebates a portion of those back to you based upon how much of that property tax fairness credit appears on that tax return. So can I, um, let me ask Yeah. if you happen to be late paying your taxes, but you still get them paid, that counts. So just so long as you pay if you're a couple of weeks late on it and you make sure that those are paid in full by November 1st. Okay. So those real estate taxes are due October 15th. There's a little bit of grace room there. Um, okay. Applications are due November 1st and that's when we start our process making All sure right. that those have been paid. So, okay. so there's a little bit of leeway, but yeah. making sure I'm just no kinda, later than. I, I wasn't late, but I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> checks, you never know. Checks in the mail. Yeah, checks in the mail. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, if you're okay, I'm going to take a copy of your um, state of Maine tax return. Okay. And I'm going to use that as a guide as we go down through the application. Okay. So, All right. Um, so I want to see where you're. Okay. Let's see. Where you're looking. So I'm just taking your name. Okay. Put a middle initial in there. Okay. What was that? E. E. Because there's another one in Brunswick. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and what was your home address? 144 Pleasant. Mm. And I see your telephone numbers on the application. So I'm yeah. just going to put that here. Okay. Okay. And I know we already covered these questions, but I just want to ask you again one more time. Yeah. So, um, you've lived in the town of Brunswick for at least 10 years? Oh, yes. Okay. No problem. And have a copy of your tax return here. Yeah. And we can see that as a, an attachment to your tax return, you do have the answer to number two, which is, have you filed for and received a rebate under the property tax fairness credit? Thus, these two pages here, that's okay, your property good. tax fairness. So, we can I say never... yes to that. <laughs> good. <laughs> And uh, 68 years young as of November 1st. Easy. There we go. And homestead exemption. When we were on the phone yep. earlier, we looked on the computer system and, and you I do have, have yeah. that exemption. That's good. So that's perfect. Um, and we already answered the question about real estate taxes, making sure that those uh, are paid in full and there's no arrears as of November 1st, which is the due date. Okay. All I need from you, Madeira, yeah. is a signature here. This authorizes the state of Maine to confirm that we have the correct property tax fairness credit for you. That's the dollar amount that the town is going to look to match. And then a signature at the bottom. And that makes sure that all of these questions that we went through and asked you, yeah. um, that we answered them appropriately. What's the date? The 26th. Today is the 26th. 
1953. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I've made a copy of your property tax um, fairness credit. I use that as backup to your application. I'm going to give you back all of your originals to your t state tax return. Okay. Now, this program does have to be applied for each year because... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so depending on how your income is and the amount of your property taxes, the state can change their calculation of the credit. So each year, since I have you on the list, if I don't see you next year, I will call you. Okay. I will call you a couple of times. Especially as we get older. That <laughs> yes. That counts a lot. Yes. I make sure that I call pretty much monthly if I don't see you coming in. So, so how does the amount get determined? Does Absolutely. So what we do is we look at um, line 12 of that property tax fairness credit form. Yeah. So that on yours lists $700. Okay. So what the town does is we make sure that what the state gives you for $700 and the amount that we match, which is another $700, that your property taxes are at least $1,400 or more. Oh, wow. If they are, we'll match the full $700 for you and issue a rebate no later than December 31st of this year. Um, let's oh. say your property taxes were a thousand, okay, and the state gave you seven hundred dollars. Let's just say we'll they were We'll give you the thousand. difference. <laughs> we'll give you the difference. So <laughs> right. that well, means it's seven hundred, yeah. you know, three hundred dollars. Yeah. So um, the other thing too that does hit, we've we've never experienced it so far. But let's say that it's a huge program year. There is a limited supply of funding. Let's oh. say we reach the top end of that funding, and we've already awarded out all the money it gets prorated so that everybody gets their fair share of the available funds. So oh. it's not a first come first serve, it's everybody gets calculated out and then we issue a proration of the available yeah. funds. So that has not yet happened. So who determines the amount you have to give? Is it the town or the state? So that's a great question. So the town appropriates funds to this program yeah. through the budget cycle. Oh, okay. And then if there's any leftover, <laughs> if there's any <laughs> leftover money, then it rolls forward to the new year. And then if the council appropriates more money into the program, then that gets okay. replenished again. So. so every town could be a little different. Absolutely. And not just because Brunswick has this program, um, not every other town will have this program as well. It's something that a local municipality can elect to adopt. Um, and Brunswick has elected to do that for its senior taxpayers and, yep. and not all municipalities do. It is good. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> it thing. It absolutely yeah. is good. So Yeah, there's a lot of older people here. Yep, yep. And this it does, a, you know, uh, yeah. um, it, it helps a lot of people, especially with the timing. Um, these rebates, like I said, come in by the end of December. Um, okay. So you're coming right into heating season. Um, Christmas. Christmas, <laughs> yes, <Present>. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, um, so it's good getting the, those monies back into the pockets. So, when you send the money back, is it sent according to when you figure out this, or does it all go in one? So, do you figure it all out and then? Yeah. So, what we do is November first comes. That's the due date. Yeah. Um, and then we assemble all the applications. We send them to the state. The state verifies to us oh, that what okay. we anticipate based upon what we've gotten for the, the sales tax, or excuse me, for the property tax fairness credit, they confirm to us that yes, we're using the right dollar amount to match. Okay. Um, process takes a few weeks for yeah. the state to get the information back to us. But once we have that information back, we really try our best to get those checks out ASAP. Um, the last few years, they've generally been written. The checks go in the mail at the beginning of December. So, okay. Um, but yeah, we have until December 31st, but we okay, try we good. try not to wait. So, so yeah. Do you have any other questions about the program today? I'm not. Sh I don't think so because I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> that's, a, that's <laughs> so that, okay which is why I'm here <laughs> that's okay but this sounds good so yeah because I, I wondered because I hadn't been on the house for years whether I still qualified yeah you know I mean I've lived here yep and everything and, yep and it's just okay, so long so as you reside within resi you have a, you have a homestead and a homestead yeah. is either a location that you live in for rent or yeah. something that you own okay so all right that Yep. That so you have the history. That, that, yeah, I have the I have the history. You'd think I <laughs> wouldn't have to worry about it, but I, I wasn't that that I wasn't sure of whether you yep. actually had to be the homeowner. Yep. But you're, as long as you're a resident. As long as you're a resident, so for we have ten years. for ten years. So we have people that uh, rent in the town of Brunswick that don't own property, but they still oh. qualify for this program. 
how does that work? Because they don't actually pay taxes, they pay rent. It's a good question. So the state has figured that out for us. Oh. In the state's calculation, the state has you look at the amount that your rent is, and then they consider 15% of the amount that you pay in rent to be the equivalent of property taxes paid. Okay. So in the state's calculation, mm -hmm. that's how they equalize, or equalize people that are paying rent okay. versus people that are paying taxes. Yeah, so, that I didn't know. Yeah. So and renters can. Absolutely. And we do have a few that, that yeah. you know, are well, on the program. Good. Yes. That's good. Yep. And if you know anybody, any uh, neighbors, any anybody that might qualify for the program, um, we do our best. We've put newspaper articles out there. Yeah, I've um, seen we've those. put it on the Facebook page. Um, but word of mouth is the biggest thing. And they can come in and talk to you Absolutely. because it's like, I can read it all. Yep. But I, I understanding. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm better with. That's why I'm here. So yeah. in the in the green at the bottom of the flyer, yeah. you've oh, got yeah. my name and my yep. telephone number. Um, I speak to hundreds and hundreds of town of Brunswick residents I've each heard year. That. Yep. You're very good at that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it means a lot. You know, yeah. it, it, like you said, the money does mean a lot for yeah. people. And um, yeah. Wow, this is great. So, like, I, like I like I said, the next year, don't worry about forgetting about it. Um, I'll have you on a list. If I don't see you come in the door um, by April time or something, I'll give you a call, and then I give you kind of a couple of calls wow. throughout the summer too, it just keeps to make you sure. Busy. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah. It does. Yep. I'm going to write it down in my book. <laughs> I'm like a bill collector that tries yeah. to give money out. <laughs> I'm still old fashioned that has written notes and everything. Yeah. Calendar reminders. Calendar reminders. Yep. Yeah. I'll put it on the calendar. Yep. By, by when? By November by 1st. By November 1st. Is the absolute drop dead time. But a good time, I always tell people. Is when you, yes, is after you after get you your taxes. After you file your taxes and yes. get them all together and. Yep. Get down here. Yep. When you get that tax so, turned back in here. That, that's another question. Do you have to bring it in? So, or, or can you, because there are people that don't drive or whatever. Yes. How, so, do, how does that work? So if somebody has um, mobility restrictions, then I just have them call me. I take a copy of an application yep. and I mail it to them. I also take an example of the forms that they need to fill out and yes. I include that in so that they can either copy it themselves or fill out the form and then they can send these forms back to me in the mail. Oh, that's good yep. because it's... Absolutely. I'm so They're, far I'm driving. Yes, yeah, but and that's a <laughs> but, great question. Yeah, we do, you know, because we do. there are a lot of people that really can't get out and about. Yep, yep. I um, don't understand it. I've given them, you know, I've talked to daughters and sons and and you know, giving them the information, and they you know go to their parents and get everything filled out. So for the as program. long as they get their parents' signature on, correct. Yeah, that, that kind of thing. Yep. They so could long come as come and do it them, do it for their parents yep. or whatever. Oh, that's good to Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I so. mean, it makes sense, but you never know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Nope. These are great questions. Yeah. Yeah. I so. don't. I don't think I can think of anything else <laughs> Great. To ask I'm not sure <laughs> that's okay well if you have anything else after the fact that you want to ask me again telephone yeah. number my name and yeah. telephone number right there at the bottom yeah um, feel free so to now give a call. that you have filled this out you're gonna take care I don't have to do anything I just have to wait for a check you just have to wait for a check in the mail that's good yep yeah. and do then uh, wow. the only thing if you can remember is after you're done those taxes um, next year yeah. When you get that tax return do it back, again. do it again. again. And if not, I got your name and telephone number and I'll call I'm gonna you. going to call. Yeah. All right. Great. That sounds great. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much. much. Yeah, yes. I feel like I know a little more. <laughs> Good. That's the point. Yeah. Well, this is your pen. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Thanks a lot.